Morning. Love a morning on this channel. We'll say love. We do them. Anyway, during lockdown, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw I got really excited about the G-Dome that I bought. Like, you know, the attachment for the GoPro that gives you those awesome, like, split half underwater, half over water. Half underwater, half over. You know what I mean. I've got a confession. I've not really used it. The only time I have used it, I was in the water for, like, five minutes, so I haven't properly, like, tried it out. So I thought, I'll stick some kayaks on the roof, get up early on a Sunday morning, me and a mate will head out, and I'll see what, see what we can come up with. Right, so kayaks on the roof. I'm going to head and pick Glenn up now, um, and then going to launch. He's never been kayaking before, so I really planned this video relying on the Met Office. And if you're not from the UK, the Met Office is like the nationwide or the national weather center who do all the forecasts and stuff and they forecast it's going to be a blazing hot sunny day which underwater photography is actually kind of opposite rules to normal photography you need as much direct sunlight as possible to light up essentially under the water um it's overcast hazy misty so i'm really hoping that that burns off throughout the morning and by the time that we're actually out on the water then it's going to be enough sun to test out the judo if not it'd be really cool just to get in the water and just try it out anyway because fuck me i've had it for like <laughs> four or five months i'm not really too pleased with myself anyway enough of this i'll see you when we get to the beach This weather's not filling me full of hope to get the G-Dome out, but hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm outside my boot. All right, bro. All right, mate, see you in a bit. Whenever you phone Glenn, you don't need a hang-up button because you know full well that he'll hang up on you before, normally before you've even finished what you're saying, or he'll just say something sarcastic and then hang up. Oh. You have got your crocs on you. I don't go anywhere with that one. <laughs> What's the point of having crocs if you can't flex them everywhere? I don't know how the audio sounds with this GoPro floaty on, but I can't miss Glenn's maiden voyage in a kayak. So, there we go. <laughs> That's depressing, it hasn't fallen in. I've literally come out for the morning with James Bond, look at this. James Bond is so fast, bro. <laughs> I'm quite a pedo on it. Quite the rapido. Oh, rapido. Rapid. When are you going to fall in for everyone's entertainment? Huh? When are you going to fall in for everyone's entertainment? Give me about 15 minutes. According to my watch. By Glenn's watch, 15 minutes time, you'll be in the Drake car. I should have brought some sunglasses. It's hell of a bright, if you can't tell by my squinting. That was your first kayak session. Yeah, pretty decent to be fair. Just moored up on a little tiny beach called Sellers Beach, which is about a mile paddle from where we left the car. 
And if you're the, uh, the paddle boarders that were hoping to have this beach to yourself that have now uh, just floating around in the water, probably waiting for us to go. Now, I am really sorry, but it's, to get the G-Dome out, on, I obviously need to get in the water as well. Although it looks like a nice day, the water certainly isn't very warm. So I'm going to get my wetsuit and stuff on um, and then I'm going to jump in the water and just, yeah, have a good old play with the G-Dome. Thankfully, the weather has come true from what the Met Office was saying, so which is good. So we get some nice direct sunlight on the water, which is a must when it comes to like underwater photography or anything like that, because you need as much light as physically possible. So... Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Just filming you, mate. Calm down. G-Dome is finally set up. It's quite a fiddly process, but as you can see, there we go. You essentially put the Hero 8 into a uh, like a dive cage that comes with it, and then a plate across the back, screw it to the dome, and you're good to go. All I've got to do now is just get myself sorted, and then well, and see what we can do, eh? See what we can do. Instagram versus reality, isn't it? Should have filmed. It's not as warm as it looks, is it? Well, I don't know. You're stood there in your wetsuit, and I'm just chilling here <laughs> in my clothes, <laughs> getting soaked. <laughs> you look like you washed up like three days ago. <laughs> That's fair. Future Harry here, and before I show you any of the G Dome footage. There's a few things I just want to bring to your attention so you can learn from my mistakes, I can critique my own work and just we can all move on and just accept that in the real world things don't go perfect first time every time. So the first thing is you'll notice that there is quite often a reflection of the GoPro lens in the dome. No idea what's causing this but it really annoys me and if you do know what's causing it stick a comment down below with how to rectify it or what I've done wrong so I don't have that when I use it in the future. The second thing is the misting up. I think there was some moisture in the cage that the GoPro goes in because it's a sealed box that as soon as it hit the water it just misted up and you just couldn't there's a lot of the footage that was completely unusable because of this but I think that I, I let it dry out as much as I could in the sun in between breaks and filming and I think that did rectify the problem very slowly throughout the day so if you've got one make sure it's bloody bone dry inside third issue from I'm assuming from the manufacturing process of the G-Dome there was hair and bits of plastic and stuff um, inside the dome which I noticed when I first got it I just didn't get around to getting out getting it out with tweezers and stuff like that and by the time I remembered it was on the beach getting ready to get in the water I didn't want to stick my sandy fingers inside and start scratching and mucking it up on the inside so I did just leave it but it is a little bit irritating that you can see these bits of hair and stuff like that in the shop but you know it's out now so future ones won't have that problem. The last issue that took me a while to work out I think what it is and that's a split the angle and the composition just doesn't come out right and I think that is to do with something about the angle of the dome like the tilt of it so the forward and backwards and I think what's happened is where I've not had the handle on tight enough because I didn't have the little spanner with me is as soon as I've gone to dive the water or put water put the pressure of the water up against the front of the dome is it's just tilted the dome ever so slightly forward and backwards like that so where I feel I think I'm holding the handle nice and straight the dome so to me, facing that way, it's nice. It looks like it's straight, but side on, the dome has actually gone slightly like that. It's had a bit of an adverse effect on how the split actually looks. If you just bear that in mind and just ignore the problems and just enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you at the end because I didn't actually do an ending. <laughs> How was that? Mate, 
That is beautiful. Beautiful. The only annoying thing is you can't actually see what you're doing because this is in the way. Yeah, good job the camera's on. I hope it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, it's not even on. <laughs> Didn't even put it in there. It's all messed it up though. Can you jump in off the cliff? I'll do it. What cliff? That one? <laughs> I'll jump off that one onto the beach. <laughs> in the kayak. <laughs> it's got like a a handy little line to tell you where to have the water line to get the uh, to get the split effect. Oh yeah. I might take the flippers off just for a moment. First proper little swim with the G dome done, and uh, I haven't seen what's come out of it, but I already know it's going to look great because you know that the GoPro footage is going to look awesome, and just having that like 50/50 split is just going to look awesome. So now the sun's completely out, it has got really busy out in the water so yeah now we'll, we'll go out we'll find somewhere a bit quieter where we can actually go out away from the the shoreline um jump off the boats and you know get some really cool shots with the uh with the g-dome and just just see how well it performs in in my sort of very run and gun style and yeah so for the best the g-dome actually comes with a really handy like sun visor head cover Like you, you actually look really creepy with that on because it stretches, it moulds to the shape of your face. <laughs> Jason. You know you got to wear a mask in a shop now. So I just <laughs> just, just like fold the bottom down so you can see where you're going. <laughs> I don't know if I have to write this. I have no idea what you're doing. No, I didn't either. <laughs> Over there maybe? So, let me know what you think of the G-Dome in the comments down below. I know I've not done it much justice with how I've used it and a couple of the mistakes I made and the location, all that kind of stuff. All tiny little things put together has actually you know, made a little bit of a problem. But hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog as much as Glenn and I enjoyed filming it and I've enjoyed putting it together. And if you did like it, then hit the like button down below because it really is appreciated. And whilst you're down there, if you could hit that subscribe button as well, that would be amazing. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.